go. I think there's a meeting tomorrow, is there not? Yes. Thursday. Tomorrow or Thursday? Thursday night. Thursday night. There's a meeting. Okay. Yeah, Thursday night. Big problem. In fact, I just got off the phone with Mary about that. Apparently, it's a closed meeting, which is a really big mistake to have the first meeting closed because that sends a message to the community that these are the people who are running the show as opposed to a, a, we didn't have a town hall meeting, but at least let the public sit and look who was, was picked from what what groups. And they're not, they're, uh, Mary thinks that there's gonna be a website and so people will understand that they'll be, they can put input on the website and there'll be other groups that they'll be talking to later on, but we, we just don't have closed meetings on Rosa. Not for something like this, and the public should be allowed. In fact, I'm not even sure it's legal if we can sponsor something like this and then have well, the public it is not legal. allowed. It is legal. But what, even what, with the open meeting, I'm happy to change it. Okay, it doesn't okay. matter to me. Uh, this was I was deferring to our expert facilitator in terms of the way in which to to do this. Now, when um, Rick had called me today and had asked, you know, can he be there? And um, I reached out to Mary, Erica and I reached out to Mary, Mary, and I said, look, what are the pros and cons of why you set it up this way? Because this is the way they've done their work in their projects. Mm -hmm. um, and the only thing I could get out of them was that, that there would be a, some kind of a chilling effect if they thought the press was there and the pub, and they, that there wouldn't be a free flow of ideas and that all of the stakeholders represent the major groups on the island. I said, look, I don't, you know, I don't really, I, I see the pros and cons of having it open to the public. Uh, we left it that we would have uh, the meeting as it is published and that we would discuss at the first meeting opening up the meeting to the public mm -hmm. as an alternative. If you prefer well, it, I much prefer I mean, it to I be open. Don't I see really no advantage whatsoever to keeping the public out. It just sends a really bad message to start off with. Yeah. Well, you just understand that this is one part of the larger. I do understand, no. but nobody else is privy to that logic. All the people in the community see is here's a group of selected people who are going to come in and they're going to start this project. Now the rest of us are going to be able to give input, but these are the guys who are doing it. But they can I mean, actively that's the message going the public out. the public can actively be involved later um, in the process after you make your decisions. No, no, no. no, no this is so. just the first phase of mm -hmm. the, the project. It's not going to be so. a plan until December. Right. So, yes, but but so if you keep it private, gonna, nobody's going to know about it till. No, no, when. everybody's going to know about it. Oh, oh, Margie, if, if the board feels that they I mean, want the first no. meeting to be you open guys have to, to the decide. public, I absolutely think it my be suggestion. Crazy to not open. I, I think it's fine. I mean, as I told you, I defer to people who do this as a, as their business, and they, they felt this is a better way to get a free flow of ideas. This is and a different community, though. From I know everybody says their their groups are different, but this is a group. This is a community that likes to be involved, that gets involved, that doesn't like to to be manipulated. Kept out of things. I don't think right. anyone's manipulated. Shy. Nobody's shy. <laughs> Nobody's, <laughs> not shy. Nobody's, shy. Nobody's gonna hold Although back. The reality is, is this community is there. relatively small representation of the total population. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In other words, when we say people like to be involved, we're really, you know, when you talk about the total population of the island, we're talking well, about people who don't do it. Right. But because you know, a lot of people never get involved. Absolutely. But there are a bunch of people who do want to be involved who are feeling like they can't be. Well, it, it's also, I mean, some people who have accomplished a lot on the island through the years, and they may not be associated with a particular group, or they were active and haven't been, right. you know, part of Rura. I mean, I, I was on Rura for almost 20 years, and I haven't been the last few years. Mm -hmm. And I just think the, and I, I would love to be there, and I'm a, I don't want people break, you know, changing rules for me. I'm just giving you my perspective. And I think through the yeah. years I've accomplished a great deal, whether with a group or without a group. And I would have liked that opportunity. This is an island where people got together and cleared a field to create a baseball field for yep. kids. They did it as a community group. You've closed them out. You make I, it I, something I just, other I'm than... Sorry, I just want to interject for a second because I don't want to go in circles and then waste time. Um, I'm going to pass around just a, a visual of how this plan is going to be developed um, as a community. Um, it's not going to be closed. And I don't want it to be... Um, 
a project that doesn't look like there's Thank no, you. no transparency. And Bob, there's a, a detailed version, and then there's a Okay, sure, sure, sure. To Just out. to give you a breakdown <laughs> of the actual project in itself. So if you look at the top, there's a project team, um, the Roosevelt Island Community, and the uh, Community Advisory Committee. So the project team, of course, is us and uh, Fitzgerald and Holiday, which is a facilitator who will be conducting the project. And then in the middle, you have the Roosevelt Island Community, which is the people who um, are not the selected uh, heads of, or representatives of organizations and community groups. Um, and then we have the advisory um, committee, which is the groups that were selected. How many people are on the advisory committee? Uh, we will know tomorrow. It's still an open um, list. Um, it's a small working group under 30. Okay. So if you go down for each row, uh, let's I think the most important one that we should cover is the Rose Island Community uh, section and also the Community Advisory section. So we'll start with the Rose Island Community. Um, so the Rose Island Community will submit comments on a website, which will go live um, after Thursday's meeting. And then the, the community can also attend pop-up and outreach events, and then they can fill out an online survey. And if you follow the chart down, you can also submit comments on a website and attend planning and design um, charrettes. And whenever we have the workshops, the community workshops, um, we will break off. So say if there's like 100 people from the community who want to be involved. So obviously you can't just sit there and kind of like talk about the project and hope to get constructive criticism. Um, we're going to break those 100 people into workable groups in that room so that we can get um, ideas collectively uh, without people interfering or over talking one another and what it would make um, sense to have um, we can make better use of our time um, as a whole and then you have another opportunity to attend a public workshop um, after you can um, as well as submit the uh, continue to submit comments on a website which I uh, we actually have a, um, a demo of which I don't know how much time you know, we have to go through that but I can show you that um, if you're interested and then again, you follow the uh, chart down. You can sit, continue, continue to <coughs> submit comments as well as um, an additional community meeting. So there will be several community meetings where the public can in, uh, be invited. Um, there's no restrictions whatsoever. Um, and we can, we'll continue to get active uh, feedback from the community who will you know, have every opportunity to voice their opinions um, in, public, in the public sessions on a website and as well as um, email. So you can email the facilitators directly and say, you know what, I was thinking about that, but I was a little shy to talk about it, or I heard, overheard this, and then you can send that comment to the facilitator who would add that um, as, as part of the overall plan. So if we go to the right of the top column, you have the Community Advisory Committee, which is the steering committee um, that everybody is a little concerned about that is this exclusive group, which is it's not. It's a, another way to get feedback from representatives from um, organizations and groups on the island, um, whether it be the wildlife and um, Rosanna. Can you give me the proper name w of the group? Wildlife Freedom Foundation. Yes, the Wildlife Freedom Foundation, which you you jumped in later because we thought maybe you know, for whatever reason, you didn't want to be a part of it, but you voiced your mm -hmm. opinions and you, we added you oh, to yeah, it I because be we realized that you much. have, you know, um, a stake in South Point Park with the feral cats community yeah. as well as the wild geese. So, Rosanna... It, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, just as clarification, it's Canadian. not just about wild geese, yes. it's wildlife. Wildlife, yeah, okay. We have right. Right. numerous... So your focus is really the wildlife as a whole and, and the green to, space right. area down there okay so we have groups like Rosanna who were added because it was mentioned that she has stake in this, this mm -hmm. section of the park um, and she, uh, as I said before she wasn't originally thought of but we added her later on and this has happened throughout the process since we started in March so if you follow the chart down it's um, this group is going to provide local expertise specifically um, concerning their group and their stake um, in the space in itself. Um, so one of the groups is the um, PSIS 217 PTA. Um, the PTA, as Faye can uh, add to this, uh, take, they sometimes take trips down to South Point Park for whatever reason, picnics and just, just to get the kids out of the classroom. 
So they can add specific um, input as to how they would utilize the space or what they would see or would like to see in the park um, going down the road in five years if we, in fact, develop a plan uh, for Southland Park. So in the second meeting, um, we probably will have in another month or so, um, this group will act as a liaison to the community uh, about the project. So you have the representative speaking for their particular group, but then they will also spread the word about this project and get additional input um, from the community um, as a whole. And then there's a third meeting as well as a fourth meeting. So overall, we'll have about eight to 10 meetings um, with the steering committee as well as the community. Um, and then the overall goal is just to see somehow combine, and I can't speak to this because I'm not the expert on this, but combine all of the ideas, um, come up with several models as to what the community, Rosewood Island community envisioned the park to be um, so that they can, it could be better utilized. Because right now the park, as you all know it, is just pathways and um, indigenous plants, which is, there's nothing wrong with it, but I believe that there's a lot of real estate there and it could be better utilized um, for the community um, and the users of the park, as well as tourists. I believe that this park was developed through a, an organization that, through the input in community meetings, mm -hmm. none of this, you know, broken down into these project teams, the island community and the, commu and the advisory groups, that we came to several town meetings and different kinds of plans were offered or, and we picked out pieces of that plan, of those, all those plans that we wanted. We didn't like one plan in particular. We said, we'd like this, we don't like that. We want this, we want this, we don't like this. They came back to us with three compilations of all the likes and dislikes and presented them. That's sort of what you're doing here. But they came back to the entire community over at the chapel, and they said, okay, here are the plans that we think we understand that you like, or the things. And the one that overall... The, the people who attended and had attended regularly was the Green Room's Wild Gardens. Mm -hmm. Now, we seem to have lost the Wild Gardens. I think the whole point of this park is to have it be as much of a just land, landscape <clears throat> with more plants, perhaps. Um, I wish the wild stuff was back because it was really nice to see that. I understand that there was a problem with people being lost in that right. at closing time and not and having right. to be helped out but or escorted out but that was the purpose and that's what the community chose to have at, because we have no parkland anymore and the parkland has been built on against the GDP but it has been built on there's parkland over at Octagon that really does belong to the community, and now I understand, but that Octagon has basically taken over, mm -hmm. namely right. the pool. That's really supposed to be public space. Rioc hasn't taken care of that. Why would I want Rioc to start fiddling with one the one last really green park we can go and sit in on the grass without any encumbrance from anybody? We have lost parkland, and Riox supposed to have been in charge of saving that for the community. I'm not sure. I think this, maybe it's just me, but this looks like it's extremely <coughs> cumbersome. I understand what you're trying to do, but it seems extremely cumbersome when <coughs> we had community meetings in the chapel that were presented, that we all talked about all together at the same time. Um, just know that we are sticking to our mission statement uh, to develop that space as open space. Okay, just, let, just let me finish for a second. What needs um, developing? Can I finish? We're sticking. So there is no plans whatsoever to develop it in a way that is not being utilized. We have no plans, a, right? So it's, just, it's really up to the community. This. And then also one of the one of the we've heard a million times over um, about the fact that this is an island that does not have access to the water. Um, one of the things that <laughs> were thrown at us um, from several groups in the community um, was to have a, a, a dock for kayaking. Oh, so it's just, the you know, these are, one of the, these are one of the, the many of ideas that have been thrown our way, and that, that is what prompted us to pursue something like this. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we're trying to hinder you in any way or make it seem that, as though we wanted to develop it. 
to put buildings or you know things that serve no purpose to the community. We want to keep it as an open space, as parkland, uh, but we want to make it uh, a space that's better utilized by the community. Or not. Frankly, or not. Mm -hmm. But we have but to get right through here. And we keep yeah. talking right. about a representative of each of the group as if they're stakeholders, but every individual on this island is a it's stakeholder. Right. And, you know, can't conduct use meetings that to get anything done <coughs> with everybody no, speaking. No, but you can let the public sit and listen Absolutely. to the discussions. And, and that's I, what I'm having a problem with. I am with. fine yeah. with that. Open I, it up, please. What are the ideas that you we got it. We because there's no problem with opening it up right. to the public. I was, as I said, I was deferring to our experts mm -hmm. in terms of how they felt it, it would be more productive. I have no problem with opening it up to the public and having a public comment period at the end of the meeting. Let's just do it. So is that final? It will be an open meeting? Absolutely. Good. Where is well, the meeting going to be again? It's at 6 o'clock next Thursday. Next Thursday. This this Thursday. Thursday. Did you, this Thursday. Thursday at 6.30. Erica, did you tell Mary and yes, send out the relay? Where was the meeting? The Shepherd Community 